Okay, so we um, are out of time, so I'll wrap it up. Um, I told you that our goal for this entire project was to deploy these relatively complicated pipelines in a way that anybody can run. Now, uh, we've chosen this DNA Nexus platform. Uh, many of you in this session have asked how you can run the code on your own cluster, and I've given you a link to our GitHub repository here where all of the code that actually runs behind these pipelines is available for download. Um, and uh, I, I wanted to tell you that, ton that tonight at the poster session, uh, Ben and I both have posters. Uh, ben has a poster on the RNA pipeline. I have a poster on the chip pipeline. And we would be very happy to talk to you more about big picture questions or small picture questions, anything that, uh, uh, that you want to talk about, come to the poster session. And uh, you can uh, get to us uh, after the session through ENCODE help at lists.stanford.edu. So that will go to our group, and we all see those messages. So if you have any additional questions about the pipeline or how to run them, or you would like to talk to us about them, then contact us through ENCODE help, um, or get one of our cards or emails and, and contact us directly, because uh, one of uh, the goals of our project is to make this so that you can, that you can run it. So if you need more help, please contact us. Um, I, we don't have time for additional questions, but I will follow up with you. And, but I do want to acknowledge uh, uh, some of the people that contributed to the development of these pipelines. Uh, uh, one of the software engineers who uh, wrote most of the RNA-seq is not here today. His name is Tim Drazer, and I wanted to make sure that, that his name was mentioned because we've been running his code all day long. Um, you know Mike and Yuri because Mike introduced us and Yuri has been here as well. Um, other members of the Data Coordinating Center are listed here. These pipelines have all been defined by members of the ENCODE Consortium outside of the Data Coordinating sister, uh, uh, Center uh, as part of the working groups that focus on the particular assay. So there's an RNA-seq working group that uh, defined the RNA-seq pipeline and so forth. Their names are listed here. And this has been sort of a, if you want, we talk about private-public partnerships. This has been a, a, a collaboration with DNA Nexus, and a number of their senior engineers have been with us throughout this process. And so their names are listed here, and particularly thanks to Joe and George for coming all the way from California to, to help today. So that's all we've got, and thanks for coming to the workshop. So I'd So I'd like to thank Ben and, and uh, Seth for doing all this today. Uh, they've been working hard for the past couple of weeks. But I want to congratulate you. I mean, you may not realize it, but you're the first sort of public group to actually run these pipelines, uh, which is very significant because you couldn't ever run ENCODE pipelines before yourself unless you had access to some nice expensive cluster and maybe some bioinformatics people to, to run them. So congratulations to you. I think there were many, many hands that went up that you actually were successful. Uh, I hope you can use it again, and you know, you've got this free account for $100 and play as much as you want. Um, certainly, you know, we're around to ask, uh, answer questions, but George and um, Joe are, are back there still. They'll be around for a couple hours, so certainly find them during the break. But, uh, but thank you a lot for, for putting up with this uh, you know, demo, and, and we've learned a lot, and I hope you have too. Thank you.